Welcome back, everyone, to the LOS Scholastic Champs. Back to school number two. We did just have our first semifinal finalized. Divine Child High School will move on to the finals in a pretty dominating fashion. They were the number one seed. Now we get to decide who actually combats them. Will it be Epic Comets or Lincoln Way East Griffins, which you might be familiar with if you, again, watched last week's broadcast. They were able to perform rather well. But we'll see what Epic Comets can do as they're actually coming in as the high your seat. Yeah, this Epic Comets group, uh, again, they came in 3-0, and oh, so they did not have uh, any paths to be crossed against Divine Child. So I think this is a big barometer check here, Zombie, about how this team is going to be able to maybe post up some equal uh, uh, efficiency that we got to see from our number one seed. Divine Child, they, they look very, very tough to beat. Now, are they dependent upon one player in particular? I wouldn't say that complete percent, but I say that they do need uh, I don't touch my rice to be able to continue to pop off. Otherwise, we rock into Epic Comets, which comes from a great strand of charter schools, which is like an alternative way to be able to get, get your final high school kind of diploma, which I really applaud everyone being able to do in that big way. So let's see if they can show us a more dynamic shift going into our next map. And guess what, guys? We're still on bind, so prepare to get hot. Yeah. She's still kind of sad watching the vetoes go through and reckoning that's a brand new sunset map, but uh, mm, I suppose not, to, not totally unexpected when it comes to tournaments. They usually kind of like they shy away from that initially. But yeah, good old binds. Good old bind. Who hates yeah. binds? It's like parfaits. Is it though? I mean, I, 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 parfait would melt here, I think, at least. Oh, 100%. The, yeah, but, but the difference that we are getting at least from the squad, uh, as you do have, I believe ah. it is, it was Lincoln Way. Yes, that will be defending this uh, first time around. Yes. Preston, who's gone on to the Reyna. Now, that in particular, if you're rocking a double duelist composition off of defense to start, but also on to bind, you want to get aggressive. And we're going to have a jet opposite of that, but you do at least get the brims working their way back in. This is actually kind of a mess. I have not seen 2021 Valorant play in a while, and Arcana is actually bringing in the uh, Sage. So this is this is a bit of old versus new. Yeah, okay, interesting. I was actually trying to see what uh, rank Preston is, but I, I'm thinking they have a different name in game and on the little sheet that we have here, because mm -hmm. we know Reyna can be a real, uh, a real lone wolf. Uh, we can also really emphasize someone who is better, perhaps mechanically, than the opposition. So I was wondering, oh, are they coming in confident? Uh, don't know. I can say that uh, Jay is going to be d the, the highest rank on the on the sheet we're given, and they have their name in game. They're playing the race, so because we're looking more towards them. And seeing what overall this composition can do as we move on to bind with some new compositions. Yeah, this is going to be the... Are they good? Maybe. I don't know. We got brims on both sides, and that's going to really kind of spell the difference of how quickly they're going to be building up that now much more expensive. I say much more. It's one or more, but that feels like a lot ultimate of that orbital strike to clear out key spaces of work. And this is also a double duelist on each side, as you do have Ubity that is going to be on that jet. And so speed might be name of the game here, Zombie, for... Uh, the the attacking half as you're going to be running in with a raise with a jet and they're going to be flashing they're going to be stimming and then it's just up to Mosaic to really kind of shut up and set up shop after the fact. Yeah, no, I think that's a beautiful breakdown of what we can expect here from this composition. Let's we'll see if the defenders can actually hold the line full stack over here. On the left side of the map, hitting towards B, no one actually checking long, we'll be able to breach through that very, very quickly and even go through guard and that's when they're going to be detected more so. Um, yeah, just making the sounds, picking up the orb. No shyness here as they do go for that full-on send as you were talking about. Just boost bursting on in there and getting two kills immediately clearing the site. And now, of course, that KJ can set up defensively as well. 3v5 situation. And they are not shy at all from start to finish, even going back into the defender's side. I do not believe Lincoln Way East Griffins were expecting that. Wow. All right. Did, uh, did anyone else see Micro throw the grenade like a fastball and it just <laughs> clunk them straight in the forehead? I swore that was going to be what actually killed them other than that other headshot. But yeah, this is about speed. They want to be able to quickly dominate. And the Comet's streaking not just like through the sky, but all the way into B site just to repel and push and dismay anything that the Griffins might try to resist with them. Yeah, I think that's a... that. 
<laughs> hopefully they pick up on this pace, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I think, you know, being able to evacuate actually is going oh. to be kind of critical. I'm actually going to be able to take the uh, uh, the duels, but hold on here. Maybe flipping the script a little bit, being very aggressive themselves. I mean, they do have worse guns. Sometimes is the strategy. <laughs> we got some Valorant being played here. <laughs> Unfortunately, not working the same way here for Lincoln Way East Griffins, who are quickly down to one and now down to none. You know, they got the second round over with. Uh, <laughs> that's for that's, sure. Zero two here. Sometimes you uh, you know you are saving and that you just don't want to have to stress it out and make the round too long. But that was a gamble stack. They didn't exactly wait for anything from the Griffins to come through. So uh, Epic saying, all right, just we'll, we'll, we'll bring it in. So far, they have uh, four peeps that have not died. And I don't even know. Ubity was pretty much chasing after Micro and all the work they did in that first round. They've just been hoping that they get a chance to get to shoot anyone. But either way, this one will now go into your bio around and we'll see maybe if this defense out of the griffins can actually kind of stand up want to see that impact play but it's me micro that already blast plaques their way into, into lamps yep op picking up one as well so we come in here with epic comments in the lead as they do get onto the sites going to be having the brim coming in from heaven and the other two members of Lincoln Way that are still alive can be trying to actually make their way onto the sites uh they actually might be able to do so and ferris even yeah. picking up one from heaven there We've had the uh, team Epic Comics pull back a little bit on the attacking side, ready, of course, to defend that spike that has been planted. Actually, do we? The Brim is going way far back. Oh, he's got a lineup. He's going to try and throw that oh, one all the way from distance. Yeah, you course. put that molly out. He's actually watching the arc of it, and they're going to defuse anyway. Yeah. Maybe it didn't hit. They had the two Sky Smokes, and that is the difference as well as having your counter, I guess, or rather having your mirror of a uh, controller come in. You put the Sky Smokes down, and even if they have that lineup, it has to hit in a timely fashion, especially off that diffuse. Yeah. Yeah, no, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, good call there. I was just looking at it, but uh, yeah, it didn't work out, unfortunately, which is fortunate for the, I guess, the uh, competitive aspect of this, right? We do actually have a little bit of back and forth. These uh, teams are, I guess, seated closer together, so we are hoping for some real action. We are certainly given a lot of action in the first two rounds. Perhaps we'll get back more to a less Overwatch, more Valorant type situation uh, as the rounds go on. And yes, we do. In fact, a little bit slower here. You know, that's just great guns for Lincoln Way. Trying to posture themselves into something that can win very, very point-blank duels. And that's what Epic Comet should be wary of. They're playing this quite cautiously. You know, all the one rifle that I believe Ferris was able to bring back and they handed it off to Arcana and everyone else is just light shields and prayers. You do have a Bucky gaming situation there in Teleporter, but Nate really can't navigate away. The... Sage wall will go up to further slow anything down, but the picks are being applied and played here over onto A, but they may actually cycle through. You do have the stem immediately used, and they want to clear that teleporter so they have an easier thoroughfare, but the trade is made as Preston lays down Mosaic, not before they have gotten themselves, and Opie will be able to give them at least some of these lanes to re-navigate, but this is really back and forth into a 2v. Make it 1v3. Caution here. Smooths, perhaps Epic Comets was hoping for, but they do get the round. 3v1 and 3 left alive. But yeah, a little more complicated, a little more. Some really fun, uh, I guess, actions going through there. The Brim throwing out that stim pack through the teleporter, picking off uh, someone who was hoping that there's a little less, uh, I suppose, scouting and uh, crossfire set up there. With the, uh, it was a Bucky who was waiting there. Yeah. No one going to fall for that old trick. And Epic Comments, as I said, end up with three on the board after the last round. Three to one, a uh, little bit favored, but now it's a time for Lincoln Way to buy up and hopefully defend this time around. Seekers gonna be starting off round number five. And it's going to be a party on a site. Real quick, like Micro takes down two. Once again, popping on in there like Mario. And the plant will happen in a 5v3 situation. Epic Comets looking for the fourth. Micro getting them on the let's go top rope RKO and brought the elbow right along with it. Arcana will eventually be dropped again as the 3K is good on the back end. And now it's a one of the mini. They actually may prioritize saving up that rifle, but they're going to go for the immediate contact as Mosaic will creep on around that box. But it is a great plant position, and you do have that lineup ready to go as well from their Zane Twinsy. 
So they have to not only win this fight going into lamps, but they have to be able to now outlast where that placement is. And Ferris is caught with their head on a swivel. They're gonna drop a sky smoke, and now they're just gonna go for that defuse. And will the call up come? They're just spraying bullets yeah. through. They eventually do find them. Good headshot. They, they knew exactly where they were. Kind of. Yeah, you know, it's kind of a matter of time. I wondered if perhaps the plan, well, there was so little time to actually try and plan this out. But, you know, halfway, then spray back. But, you know, pro stick, I suppose. He tried, didn't work <laughs> out. And uh, now we do have that fourth on the board. Uh, you, you know, you mentioned maybe wanting to save that uh, gun. I mean, maybe that would have been the better play. Uh, we have a uh, basically pistol around here for Lincoln Way. It's a little shotgun in Ferris's hands. Yeah, it's kind of kind of rough, that shorty. Unless Ferris is going to combo with an orbital strike and get them as they're escaping. Really is not going to give them too much. And you do have Preston hanging just outside of this position. And they are going to be all stunned up. And they're going to try and crash onto him. Ubity immediately takes them out. And that means that this is just a party out in showers. Everyone may be wet, but they're trying to get straight back through. They've actually audible to go back. And that could be caught as the orbital strike does come down. And now the defuse immediately pressing them away. They may be able to just kind of get this ninja defuse. They do have the molly on top of them. And that will save this round so far with only one left. And Jay hits the mark twice. Oh. Three times. Oh, Jay popping off. Making this a 1v1. Oh, this can happen. This can actually be done here. Jay with the rocket fuse now set up here is going to go for the kill. The showstopper for the 4K. Excellent stuff from Jay. That goes in the higher reel for sure. Gets the defuse. I mean, that start that, that the start of the defuse was some confusing Valorant. <laughs> Being able to get as far as they did. But then the end was just someone popping off. Really great job there from Jay. That's when you're uh, here out in the Wild West wherever in the world mine may be. I didn't check the, the map. I'm not a geographer, but either way, they come out, they hit their shots, and then they just don't run away from danger, especially with that showstopper meant to be used and definitely was to take out any of the remaining threat there in shower. So a little bit of chaos here, zombie, at least gives another one over to Lincoln. So we're going to see if they can do it a little bit more, but this is a continued approach. They are just trying to batter these doors down here on a side from the side of Epic. A rush almost every single round here. Um, by the way, Jay, definitely someone to pay attention to. We kind of called that earlier on, but certainly now still looking to get a positive on the scoreboard, I suppose. But just a man, really, real highlight moment there. All right, so a little blind coming through there. There are lots of people defending A, and there might be that call to rotate. If anyone might be kind of poking their head forward and chasing them, actually situating themselves, waiting. Be another. Sky from the opposite team this time. Try and figure out what's uh, actually going on. Oh, they're going to do it. They're going to blitz. So oh, they're doing it. They're doing a flash guard right now, too. They're looking straight at the wall, and the lockdown is actually going down. So they're going to give this one some time to burn. Ferris is going to come nearby, and I believe they're going to actually stick to it. You've seen a lot of these plays starting to develop off of lockdown ultimates and waiting for anyone to come through the sky smoke. They're looking for the escape route, and they will have immediate trades coming from out of showers. And the plant is being... I mean, it's going to go down. And now it's just about how they come around from truck and U-Haul. It seems like Epic Comets giving themselves an opportunity. And more than that, actually, as Micro takes down a third. Arcana, the only one left over. And she, uh, sorry, Sage is known about. He's known about. Um, what are you going to do here? Try and actually combat 2v1 from heaven. I'm going to actually move on over. Walk on reveals the intention, however. Oh. Ah, okay, okay. They're actually gonna be able to get a res here. Maybe not something that the attackers should have allowed, but maybe it doesn't really matter now. 4k for micro. Maybe gonna be looking for a 5k. Jay's not gonna give up. A little bot coming in for a bit of a scout. But there's... Uh, that's trying to take on two people who know where you are. It's just... It's so darn difficult. If they actually do this, though, that would be another highlight moment. This time, not gonna happen. Micro mm -hmm. will pick up the 5k with the help of the Sage Res, of course, but still. Uh, and I'll unfortunately not be able to avoid the spike, but five of the board for Epic Comets. There. Micro, so influential. 17 and 3, doing even better than we got to see from Don't Touch My Rice earlier. And they have just been a force to be reckoned with here over on the Comets. So 
They are, I believe, I think the second highest. Actually, no, they're the highest on their squad. So we've seen the uh, the top players be the top players, and I really think that kind of dictates uh, general success for your for your teams. For, uh, and if, because if you can't trust in the peeps that are supposed to be good, then who can you trust, zombie? No one. Yeah, there's that. You can always trust Ghostbusters. They haven't failed us yet. <laughs> oh, Arcana from the top side actually does get a couple of doinks there. Actually gets a little bit of injury over on the side of Epic Comets. So I'm not sure you can ask for very much more. And maybe some time buying as well. Seekers are out finding everyone. Preston looking to get a nice up and close. Unfortunately, not close enough to win the battle. Epic Comets definitely looking at another uh, point here. It'll be a 6-2. to two. Unless we can get something done here from Nate and Arcana. Currently just stuck in hookah themselves, so... There we go. Nah, no headshots coming on through. In fact, with Zane, takes on another and Nate's uh, last second jump in. <laughs> Running gun. Yeah, they, they might bring a, uh, a fist fight to this. Nate is hoping that they do, but otherwise, this one uh, was a def definitely a uh, save round, and Ferris, or rather Zane on the other side of it, just has x ray vision as they, they knew where they had to be. They're just not going to walk away from that window. And I, I feel for Arcana on that one because you put up your awesome wall and you're like, all right, there's no one coming through here. This is my place. This is my time for real. And then. You're stuck just kind of jumping away, trying to hide into your fortress of solitude. So <laughs> at this point, it has been not a runaway train, but it's been now gaining a lot of ground for Epic Comets as they have just been able to kind of now force these last couple of rounds. But I, I do like that Lincoln Way is still being able to manage their eco just fine, but they're stuck in the save cycle of having to kind of suck it up for a save and then go and get their ARs for later. Yeah, they're just not nuts. Nice position that Epic Comets find themselves in. A lot due to Micro as well. We do have another standout star for a team. 19-3. and It's a it's a pretty good score. So good. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, still, of course, the rest of the team holding their own as well. Making sure this is a team effort. We got Micro boosting in as an herbal strike comes down. And we have Epic Comets with four alive. Lincoln Way with three. Still have a chance here as they try and burst on in. Unfortunately, met with gunfire. And Nate is all alone. Oh, and first to reload the situation, too. Not going to work out for them. Opie picks up the lap scale. Epic Comets, seven to two. And uh, we're back into that nasty cycle, that vicious cycle. That I feel for, uh, for Nate in that moment. They have two people... Uh, short-sighted and they are not able to kill him because they got a reload and you're just caught juggling util and a reload right in your hands and then ultimately they got taken down so unfortunate timing but it's not just timing that's really kind of playing against the griffins they've really not been able to kind of respond to these hard pushes and i've we've not really had to see too many audibles get called by the comments once they get a once they get a site right in front of them that they definitely want to go to they just Kind of take it by storm. Even with the Pathfinder of really seeing OP here early, they're going to try and clear these corners. They're going to look at them from the box, and they know they're right there. So they're just going to do this like they've done several rounds before. Yeah, I think you're right about that. And I mean, one of the wins that uh, Griffins did have was based off of kind of hard stopping a pick early on mm -hmm. in an approach from Showers from Epic Comet. And then Epic Comet kind of like almost somewhat stubbornly continued moving, I believe. So, I mean, if they can do that, you know, then they obviously have the chance. They do have two points on the board, but this probably isn't going to be uh, an opportunity to put one uh, a third here as they are down two members, make that three. So with uh, at least one subpar gun, Mike, we're going to be able to take down a few more and looking for the last. We'll find it. And as I said, that wasn't really the hopeful round for Lincoln Way East Griffins, but just trying to say, like, they, they've shown some ability to stop the Comet. That is Epic Comets, but it's difficult. Jay threw his... <laughs> Jay threw their paint shells at Mosaic at the end of that round and killed their teammate. Okay. <laughs> Look, they, they're, the confidence is there. They don't have to really kind of worry too hard. 23 and 4, Micro is chasing a 30 bomb here in the first half. That, that, oh, that is, yeah, this is going to be the big statement to be made because we were talking about how thoroughly authoritative it was Divine Child in that first semifinal. Yeah. You have to have exactly this 
to combat a team like the Falcons going into the grand finals if the inevitability does happen. But we got two rounds to go, and again, it's kind of on that eco to be able to provide them for next, but Ubity shuts down Arcana. Already a good start for Epic Comets. Uh, you know, once again, coming in here with the guns and getting that first pick, Lincoln Way, East Griffins do have a couple of, of alts for them, but they're really going to have an opportunity to use it. Perhaps, perhaps some of these duels start going their way. There is that call to actually hit A. Uh, and actually, Preston was able to take down Mosaic right off the bat. Unfortunately, he didn't leave the spike in an awkward position, but he was able to pick it up. Will they still force it? Seems like, like they, they will. Want to lock it in. Oh, but it's going to be Micro that's bringing that showstopper, and they're looking for bodies to put to the ground, and Ferris is part of that. Do you manage to find Ferris? And then some more crossfires happening here, all down to Nate. They are going to find oh. actually two lining up! Definitely not the intention of Epic Comets. Now it's a 1v1, which is, of course, possible for Nate to win. They unfortunately do not. And we're uh, now going into the last round at 9-2 score. You know, the good news for the uh, for the Griffins is that Micro, unless a res is coming through, which Arcana has been struggling to get more than the one ultimate they had, they're not going to be able to get 30 in the first half. So, hey, shout out. That's oh, a success man. right there. But everyone else otherwise has found some efficiency behind their Stone Cold Killer on this raise, and they've really been able to just shout from the heavens how this team is... Uh, undoubtedly faded to go over into that grand final, but they still got to get the job done, and the Guiding Light Flash will stall Micro for the present time. Cool. Oh. For the present. <laughs> they stall them for very long. <laughs> oh, the aggressive confident raises, you know? Like, that's really where it's at. That's peak Valorant. And, and Micro just picking up the gun, continuing to run a gun as well. Uh, taking names, kicking butt. And Jay on the uh, on heaven here with the help of uh, Ferris. He's gonna try and make some moves. Try, try and have something happen here. Turn the tides. It's not gonna happen, however, as Mike Rubin picks up a 3k there. A flawless overall for Epic Comets. And perhaps, yes, the only thing Lincoln Way East Griffins can say is that Micro didn't get 30 kills. <laughs> didn't, didn't get 30 kills. Got three short. And only two assists. Psh, what kind of what kind of Teammate is that, yeah. Oh, I mean, look at the 15 assists by Opie, which, you know, I thought we nerfed the Guiding Light Flash. Apparently, that was all of a misnomer in the last patch. Everyone complaining, you just need to look at what Opie's doing out here. 10, 4, and 15. That's how initiator yeah. should be. That is actually pretty good. You know, it's so easy to, to pay attention to those kills, which, I mean... It's a very good count. 20, 27 <laughs> is pretty cool. But pretty that, that high of an assist, actually, is a real shout-out, real lineman moment, you know? Everyone's talking about the quarterback, and the linemen are like, well, I made some pretty cool plays, guys. Mm -hmm. They got the pancakes. Uh, they, they, they chopped them at the legs. They brought them down. Yeah. Wars in one in the trenches. And unfortunately for the Griffins, their, their first battle, if they're going to be able to gain any kind of momentum into this next half, is going to be going against a lot of utility set up here by Mosaic, which really b site is just a playground for any good KJ player. Oh. Kind of like a little turnaround in our last semifinal when they came to a swap, but uh, not, not too much. That might be a similar situation here. There's some hope for Lincoln Wee East Griffin. East Griffins, but it, it's actually quickly dissipating. Uh, okay, all right, that was a battle. <laughs> beautiful battle, beautiful. I don't, you know, I I feel like we need to call uh, on. I believe it is Nate, or no, it was Opie that was fighting against Arcana, because clearly Arcana at the end of that, they realized neither of them were hitting their shots. They pulled out their knife. That, that's disrespect on the would-be knife fight, but it was all of a half second, so I thought maybe yeah. their, their reaction time would be better. I guess not. Come on. Gotta get better. Gotta get a knife fight. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get one in here. What's your favorite knife in the game? Ooh, so I, for the longest time, had the dual blades. So I had, like, the... Uh, ah, this, yes. Yeah, like yes. The, I think it's the green and, green and clear. It's weird because they can actually change colors. So those, those oh. are my favorites. Yeah. And if you do the inspect, you, like, shing, like, right off each other. Gotcha. Well, Epic Comets looking to be taking the second round of this half. Uh, you know, long raid shotgun. You know, that's classic usage. Um, <laughs> the help of the grenade as well. But yeah, Epic Comets have pretty much got this done. There we go. Nate goes down, and Epic Comets are now on that match points. 
I was the expected after they won the you know, the first round of the pistol, and um, here we go. Now is the time for Lincoln Way East Griffins to actually put their foot down and stop this match from being over in this round. Can they do it? Can they actually make it to the finals? Maybe I mean, not, but can they maybe make more of a stir? Can they maybe possibly... The, the percentages are low, but the possibility exists. So, you're, so there is a chance. You just have to get through Micro, who's at a 5.0 KD, and you also have to get <sighs> through this current buy situation, which does not favor them one bit. It's going to be about how they get these opening picks, which they find one. Ooh, so ooh. Ferris gets Opie off the field. And Nate's also finding one as well. <laughs> so far, very promising for the Griffins. Preston trying to escape. Unfortunately, not able to do so as Ubudi is quick to strike back, putting him back into an even man situation, except Epic Comets, again, with those better guns. Now finding some more kills. I mean, Nate is is finding another one as well. Like, they're, they're managing to keep this even on the actual player count. Oh, boy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Micro, however... Finally coming in to show off uh, what they've been doing this entire map. And that grenade is absolutely perfect. Going to send them away from that smoke. And they pick up the kills after they evacuate. That is going to be it. <laughs> As the defuse will, in fact, come in. GG's are being called. Epic Comets will be moving on to the finals. They didn't want to leave anything to doubt. And the Griffins become mythology all over again. Dust echoes and forgotten dreams. But moving on to bigger memes is going to be my Micro and the gang, more than a 30 bomb, able to just really stack up the stats. And Epic Comets, we are on a collision course. Two undefeated squads, and they're showcasing that they're not going to play around at all. And you got to think, Zombie, this is going to be up to really the tip of the spear for both these schools about how Micro and Don't Touch My Rice, I want to see what that big combat looks like going into that best of three. Absolutely, exactly what I was going to say. Now we have two teams that certainly have their powerful anchor that we're going to be looking at watching them uh, potentially 1v1 throughout this what is now a best of three finals before we head on to that I do want to thank uh, sponsor Mountain for providing the prizes for this tournament now we'll head over to that break get everything set up for the best of three finals of the back to school number two <laughs> 